horrifying true story of demonologist Ed and Lorraine Warren, who investigated the supernatural entities that haunt the living. As the two gather answers and collect various objects that have been used in some form of a conjuring. Taking place in the 70s where the cases were evolving, the film is directed by James Wan, who is one of the most passionate directors working today. His first directorial debut in the film Saw propelled his career behind the camera. Scenes are played out taken at a time, first building suspense, with subtle noises, creaks in the floor, and out of focus glances from our cast, with a look of suspicion at the doorway, questioning themselves if they saw something, leaving us to believe there was something malevolent on the other side. James Wan has a very specific sense of direction, and these films come in off as a classic style horror film with the costumes and set designs that are on point with the era it's set in, and with perfect casting starring Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson as Ed and Lorraine Warren. There is jump scares in the film, but there's tension built up beforehand in The Conjuring released in 2013. James Wan was never fond or known for making sequels to his films, but we got lucky when he returned for The Conjuring 2, and to most it was a good sequel following up to the first. Of course it had the same feel, and tone, but also had some familiar tropes, and at some points went from scary to predictable, with too many side plots and scare characters, but still managing to be a good movie overall. James Wan has become a favorite of mine, even though some of his choices I don't agree with, he still brings something special to all his films, and that's something many of us can admire. It's been since 2016 that they had a conjuring film by James Wan, and may unfortunately be the last in this ghostly cinematic universe. The two films, The Conjuring 1 and 2, give off a very eerie vibe that's genuinely creepy. I think a lot of that has to do with timing. When you expect something to jump out, it doesn't. It's usually a few seconds before or after, making the scares abrupt as they should be. A lot of the times the score can give it away, but in some of the cases in the film that surprised me when the film was silent and there was no background music at all. There's so many aspects in horror that you can use to your advantage, and other times it can also weaken your film. It just depends on how you use it, and knowing when you want the audience to be surprised. 